She's a baby. I'm a daddy. She's mine.
environmental stance of all the people, why they can't work it. And we'll work on it together. Because homelessness is one of the things that we face, not just in the city, but in our communities. So we need more of everything. And I'm very capable of negotiating with the governments. We have to go past the gatekeepers in this province. They're gatekeep, they gatekeep. We go to Ottawa for our concerns. That's where we went for our health center. They were gatekeeping here. We went to Ottawa and we got what we wanted. And we can do that for every First Nation that wants something to be, to be done for their communities. I thank you for your prayers. And I thank the women, the elders that were behind me. I could feel their strength. And I could feel the strength of our ancestors in that room today. And they talked through me. They talked through me. What I should say. And I take it every time that I speak. They take the part what they can do for me and what we can do for you. So in a good way, in a good heart, in a national now for all for being here, my relatives from my community. It's always good for leadership to, 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 to give that support and our elders council that are here. I thank you for being here. And I thank each and every one of you for the singers, the strong men from the north. Somebody told me to say that one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you and tomorrow is going to be a good day. We're going to work hard where we want to be tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow I'll be the Grand Chief for the end. You will be the of the nation. I was vice chief at the time. And uh, I've worked with her as a counselor for many years. Because she's been a counselor for a dozen or more years as well. She's a woman of great strength. She cares for her people. She cares for our children. And she cares for our elders. She's a woman with uh, utmost respect for anyone she meets. Thank you, Ernie. <laughs> 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 but I, I, mean, I have to say that because, you know, under her leadership, I've seen her actions. I've seen her strength. I've seen her rise for what she believes in. And when she wants to get it done, she gets it, she gets it done. She's not gonna just start something and forget about it. She'll she'll begin it and finish it right to the end. That's how I know Kathy. That's how she's always performed. No matter what what um, level, no matter what she was working on, she was always on top of everything. And she made sure that everything was complete. And that's the kind of leader we need. That's the kind of person we need that has a good heart for everything and for everybody. And now, um, she grew up from the grassroots level as well. You know, from hard times to now. She has a lot to offer. But I had to, sh I had to share that too because I've been in leadership for 16 years and I've had the privilege of working under her leadership. And you know what? We'll, we will be stronger with her in it than without her. I guarantee you that. So I want to wish Kathy all the best, Kathy. You know, uh, you are determined. You are very eager. And that's the kind of woman we need. <coughs> and it's time AMC has a woman that will lead. Yes. For a good path.
path, the right path. Because a woman builds the foundation of the home and she makes sure that everything is good. So I just wanted to share that. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak. <laughs> Don't snap a picture. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm from the South, Chief Barker, Hollow Water. I knew Mary a long time ago. We, we weren't even chiefs. And, uh, and I know this guy from uh, where it all began, the Westbrook days. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to tell anymore our secrets of uh, marriage here, so let's do that. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. it's time uh, that we have a, a leader. I, I, I heard her speak in many assemblies, and uh, sometimes I said my brother, he's been there over 34 years, I've been chief 25 years, so I've seen leaders speak. And I, I had a chance to, when Mary spoke about women issues, child issues, everything's there. And that's what we need as a leader, to focus on all the areas that's needed. And that's what I see in her. I, she's a friend from a long time, but she has a voice that has to be heard. And as a Grand Chief, I will support her as, as much as I can in the South level. And I know she'll do good for a, the Assembly. And, and it's a future we're looking at for our children. And that's where it counts. The biggest use issue is our children. They need a better, safer place to live in or, or in Manitoba. So, so that I'm, I just want to say good luck, Mary. You're my friend from way back. And uh, this guy, the Westbrook Days, I want to get here and say some more. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to say one thing about your, your people, about your community. One thing I respect is when, when, when one of your people step up, you all stand behind them. You know, I've seen Chief Monias, you know, nominate Kathy Merrick for AMC Grand Chief. I've seen him support Shirley Robinson to be a federal uh, MP. I've seen him support Garrison Sati to be MPO Grand Chief. And I've seen your community unite behind all of those candidates. And I respect that about your community, that you, you stand together and you do that for each other. I just wanted to acknowledge that, Chief Monias, and all your leaders who support each other. That's, that's, that's awesome to see that. But for myself, you know, I, I grew up around politics. You know, uh, Chief Barker, Chief Yellowback, Chief Monias, former Chief Merrick, Councilor Robinson. Uh, I see other leaders from other communities. Uh, you grew up watching me be around this. And, and I've only ever gotten involved or taken a stand or helped on a campaign if I believed in it, if I believed in the person that was doing it. With Garrison, I helped him. With, uh, with Jerry Daniels, I helped him because they were my friends and I believed in them. You know, so when this election was coming and this election was happening, everything that I've seen at the Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs over the last, the year, the last year or so has become very toxic and very divisive. And we need to come to a place as First Nations people in this province where we don't have men versus women, North versus South, AMC versus uh, MKO versus SCO, this chief versus that chief, or he said, she said, we need to squash all of that and start to bring our communities together and focus on the objectives and the priorities that are affecting our people. We have a housing crisis, we have clean water crises, we don't have road connectivity, we have a healthcare crisis, our people getting systemically discriminated against in every switch system that, that exists in between. 
And of the candidates running, I have a lot of respect for them. Some of them are my friends. Some of them not so much, but I still respect them anyway. But there's only one candidate that has the experience, the know-how, and the ability to unite the Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs. Somebody that has universal respect amongst the chiefs in the north and in the south, men and women, she will bring that stability and that strength back to the AMC. So there's only one candidate that can do that, and that's why I believe in her, and that's why I'm supporting her, and that is Kathy Merritt. And now me. Good luck, Kathy, my friend, my buddy. Good luck.